Wow, you see this one right here? This is interesting, right? It says, after Ye doubled down this weekend, Camille dropped him. The firm still wanted to make it work, but on the condition that he would retract and he wouldn't. So he fired them. Kanye West is intentionally, consciously, in good faith, right? Doing this. This is not under the influence. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is... I full on good and know well what is ahead of me and I'm still doing it. Wow. Very few people have enough craziness. You know what I'm saying? Enough gusto. Enough passion. Enough foolishness to do something like that. Muhammad Ali spoke his mind and lost a lot championship i think i think they took his belt from him uh he was in jail for it for a bit you know colin kaepernick lost an nfl career probably like 10 20 million kanye west the firm still wanted to make it work you know what I'm saying? Because people is like, yo, I don't want you to leave, buddy. I like making money with you. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you're, you're Kanye West. But, dog, I got to. The Jews is on me, dog. Like, they're going to make it real hard for me. Basically, they put a line in the sand. They say either me or you. I mean, us or them. Okay, Jav, okay, thank you, man. Let's find that out. Adidas just yanked his deal from Kanye. Here's how much of a hit his net worth might take. In six years, Kanye West went from allegedly uh, being $53 million in debt to being a billionaire on Forbes list. Now that Adidas yanked his deal, experts expect West's fortune to take a hit of hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay, so hundreds of millions. Thank you, babe. One analyst warns West won't be able to restart his shoe brand so easily because Adidas owns his Yeezy designs. You see? You see? All that shit you was talking now, Adidas got all them designs, doggy. Resale sites, the real, real joins the list of companies cutting ties with Kanye West and his Yeezy after the rappies. You see, right now, niggas is just like, I don't know, man. It's a lot of, it's a lot of niggas just following. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of just people following. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, I'm going to drop him now, too. On Tuesday, Adidas announced that it was yanking its partnership with Wes, who now legally goes by Ye, the rapper turned designer. His recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous, blah, 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 blah. Adidas said it's terminating the deal of the company about $250 million. That's how much it's going to cost them. There's very little to go on because we don't know the sales. We don't know the royalty percentage. Oh, however, when estimating the exact financial hit to Wes's bottom line, the numbers get a bit murkier because Adidas had never publicly shared its specific details on the deal with Kanye. Swartz said he estimates that Adidas Yeezy partnership brought in between one and a half to two billion dollars per year and that Wes's design company Yeezy might get uh, paid a 10 percent royalty fee, meaning it could rank in between between 150 to 200 million dollars per year. I said this before and I'm going to say it again. Think about this. Kanye West is a musical genius. He is a culture savant. He understands culture, fashion, and music at a high level. He might be one of the best rapper slash producers, like, you know, producer rappers. He might go down as one of the most influential rappers. He has won many awards, right? But out, but out of all the collaborative things he's done, out of all the albums he sold, out of all the beats he made, he never made a whole lot of money until he started selling shoes. I want you guys to know that. So we go, we spend all of our time being rappers. Oh, uh, we want to be the next rapper. You know what I'm saying? We we spend we, you know like like the hood, like a lot of little boys in the hood. They spend all this time to want to be rappers, but guess what? You make us you make some shoes, you could make ten times more money. As much as many songs that Rihanna has sung, as many notes as she has hit, as many, you know what I'm saying, uh, fans that sing her song, she still did not become a billionaire until she started selling makeup. 
I just want you guys to be clear on that. Forbes estimates that ending the partnership with Adidas wax West's fortune down to 400 million from 1.5 billion. Holy guac gamoli. I'm not I'm not the biggest mathematician. But that is about a billion dollar haircut. That's a billion dollar hit, as Pill Ben says. Wow. Little gun, yes and no. Yes, yes, you are right. Yes, their fame helps sell these things, right? Yes, yes, yes. But But still, like, there is way more money selling merchandise, right? Basically, selling $3 shoes for $250, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is a come up. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason why these companies, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Get paid more than the rappers. What's up, un? We're talking about Kanye West and how he's taking a $1 billion hit. Absolutely. Uh, well, thank you. Oh, guys, if you put, let me see, if you put exclamation and then any like anything like Venmo, let's see if that pops up. No, it didn't pop up. Oh, I got to turn it on. But if you guys ever want to send a donation or whatever, you guys can, uh, you guys can, uh, you know, do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys can definitely do that. That would definitely help. Um, let me see, 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 let me see. All right, let me finish where I was at. Yeah, so he's taking a billion dollar hit, un a billion dollar hit. That's that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? On Forbes, the leading trackers amongst wealth amongst the world's financial elites declared it had dropped Ye from its list of billionaires already. See, look, that's another thing. It shows you how fluctuating and how speculative um, being a billionaire really is. It shows you how fickle being a billionaire is. How, how all of a sudden, how all of a sudden Kanye West is a billionaire on the billionaires list. And then these companies just send out letters. They literally just send out letters talking about on, on letterhead, talking about we officially dropped Kanye. Now all of a sudden he's not a billionaire. How you how you not become a billionaire overnight? How does that work? How do you not become a billionaire overnight? Like did 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 you real the valuation? Right, 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 right. But I'm saying a billion dollars did not leave your account. You know what I'm saying? A billion dollars did not leave. It shows you how fickle a lot of this shit is. You know what I'm saying? That quick. He went from 1.5 to 4. It shows you like how little money you actually have. You know what I'm saying? Like my nigga, you could be worth, you could be worth nigga $2 billion, but only have nigga $500,000 in, 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 in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Because of course you still got property, which is owned. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Wow. The rest of Ye's net worth lies in real estate, cash, his his music, and a 5% stake in the ex-wife Kim Kardashian's clothing line. Wow. Nice. So, yeah. So, it's only so much they can cancel you. It's only so much they can cancel you. Right? You can always start your own clothing company. You can, Kanye, you can always start your own shoe company. The European brands don't make you. You're still Kanye West. You can still make music. You can go independent like I did. You know what I'm saying? Like like we all do. You can drop it, you can drop an independent album. You're still Kanye. You're still you you know what I'm saying? They can't they can't stop you from buying property. They can't stop you from investing, you know what I'm saying, in real estate. You feel me? Like, like, there's still gonna be um startup companies that still would love to fuck with Kanye West. Like, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, real shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. If he wanted to sign me right now, I'd do it. Last month, uh, West teased that he planned to eventually go it alone and operate his Yeezy brand separate from his partnership with Adidas. <laughs> Still, Swartz said restarting the shoe brand will be challenging for West. Uh, 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 
Adidas legally owns Yeezy designs. Now, this is the crazy part about it, man. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, un, un, un says, sometimes it's just best to be quiet. That, yo. Sometimes it's best just to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Like, was it really worth it? Like, 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 like for real. Like, what did you accomplish? You lost a billion dollars, but did you free people? Did you save lives? Like, did you start something? Like, all you did was send out a tweet. You know what I'm saying? Was it really worth it? Was it really worth it, Kanye? You know what I'm saying? You got to send out a tweet. Yo, and the crazy part about it is we did a show about <clears throat> Kanye and his Yeezys and like all of that stuff, right? All right, let's go to let's go to my caffeine page. All right, so th I mean, this is what I find interesting. So we talk about Pocket Watch. This is Pocket Watch where we talk about the economic ramifications of stuff. And we talk about the economic ramifications of Kanye West talking, talking shit on the Jews. So we did a whole show fairly recently about Kanye West. And if you're, oh, if you are on YouTube and you're watching this on YouTube, if you come here to my caffeine page, look at all of this hours and hours of content that you have access to. Look at all of this content. All of this stuff is like hours long content. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and, and hit the link and, and come fuck with me on caffeine. You know what I'm saying? All right, look, here it is. Kanye West versus Adidas. We did this on September 7th. The, let's see. Let's see if there's an article. Super comfortable. Your designs. Uh, he's working. For so at this point on September 7th, he was going at it with Adidas, right? He was going at it, talking about Adidas is like still in his designs and stuff like that. What we did not know is that Adidas has the legal right to steal all your shit, my nigga. Why did you sign that deal? Why, you know what I'm saying? He's mad that, that Adidas, Adidas, guess what Adidas did? They took all your designs and let you go. They let you go. Look at what Swartz said. He says, I don't think he can even put out replicas of the shoe without getting sued. So basically, Adidas owns all of his designs. His obstacles of actuality launching his own company are enormous. He would be essentially starting from scratch. Let me tell you something. Starting a shoe company isn't just easy stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to buy, you got to be able to buy the, 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 the raw parts at, you know what I'm saying? You have to buy a lot of motherfucking leather or whatever the fuck they use, man. You got to buy a lot of poly, whatever. The, let's just call it, I'm just going to make something up. Poly quagmire, right? Whatever they, that, that's the shit they used to make shoes. You got to buy a shit ton of poly quagmire from the Congo, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of logistics, Pelbin. You got to buy that from the Congo and then move that shit to, to China for them to make it. And then you got it. You know what I'm saying? All the logistics of moving all this shit around, manufacturing. You know what I'm saying? You're going you, 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 you're gonna to spend money on a, on a bunch of shit and it not work. He said the MK Ultra might be wearing off. 